Well, it's nice to win, uh, but I, I'm a coach that, uh, you know, I, I, I grade the performance, not the outcome, and, and I didn't think we played particularly well, especially in the first half. Uh, probably the worst thing that happened to us is we had a 10-point lead, and maybe we relaxed and thought it was going to be easy. Uh, we started turning the ball over and uh, taking crazy shots. Uh, but fortunately, in the second half, we buckled down and uh, did what we, we should do, and that's play good basketball and shoot high percentage and hold them to a low percentage and, and pound the board. So uh, for that, I'm, I'm you know grateful, and hopefully we can learn from a win. Uh, we need to learn from wins, and uh, hopefully we learn from this win. You put your bench in pretty early. What was your reasoning for that? Uh, well, we played more pressure defense. Um, we picked up uh, full court, uh, so that kind of wore us out a little bit. Plus, uh, I felt with our, with the size of Florida Gulf Coast, they really are smaller, that I could afford to play Justin Haynes at the four spot, and Ryan, Ryan at the four spot. Um, and so uh, I didn't mind subbing as much. I think uh, um, the size wasn't an issue like it would be against an A&M or uh, a South Florida, so we could play more and, and be more aggressive defensively. What did you think of Justin Haynes tonight? He was, he was great. Justin, best game. Uh, it's what I thought of Justin when I recruited him, and hopefully this springboards him because that position is critical, that, that, uh, that three spot for us. Where, and I, I challenged Justin, I challenged Ryan. We need more production from them at that spot. Uh, and we were averaging, uh, I, I wrote it down, we were averaging like five points four turnovers, um, uh, say four rebounds in 40 minutes from that position. And so we need more production. And, and uh, so tonight we got it. The whole bench in general gave you more production. I think against a &M you only had two bench points in this game, you had 27. Just what was the difference? Well, I just think, well, one of the opponent. You know, as I said, uh, you know, this is not an a and uh, We could play a little bit smaller. Uh, we're going to be more aggressive defensively. Um, and, and I think then we got a lot of offensive rebounds. And, uh, you know, that gives us more opportunities to score around the basket. We'll, we miss Robert McCunday. Uh, Robert's a guy that could come off the bench last year. Uh, he started at A&M, had 18 points. I mean, he can really score. And that will give us a chance when he comes back, and hopefully it's for the TCU game, that he can come back and – give Mohammed a break, you know, and then we're not losing much size because he's 6'7". Uh, right now, uh, if Mohammed goes out, I'm either going with uh, Frank Otis, who isn't as good a shooter as Robert or Mo, or I'm going with, you know, Justin Haynes and going small. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting Robert healthy. Is it still the same injury, the bruised heel? The bruised heel, yeah, yeah. I told him if he was a horse, we'd shoot him. Uh, but. Uh, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he's, he's, fr he's more frustrated than anybody, obviously, because he's worked so hard to be in position to, uh, to play. But he's suffered knee injuries, uh, foot injuries, uh, and hopefully we can, that's why we're sitting him out. He could play probably, but we just want to sit him out and get him healthy. What did you think of Derek Williams tonight? Uh, you know what, Derek, uh, I didn't think he's not shooting the ball like I know he can, but I thought he really controlled the team in the second half. Uh, and made, you know, critical foul shots. Uh, three assists, one turnover. Um, you know, uh, he's still learning, but uh, he, he's, he really, I thought, controlled the team in the second half. What was the difference in the team between the first and second half? I mean, the shooting percentages was 30 point higher. Well, I, I think that we made one adjustment against the zone. We screamed it a little bit more and got into seams and we were more aggressive. And then when they went man to man, then I thought we really executed and got good shots, got some layups. Um, so uh, I think, uh, and then we took better care of the ball. What, we have four, six turnovers in the second half. We had nine in the first. Um, so I, I think that uh, we attacked their zone better. And then they, they got out of the zone, went man, and we, we had some pretty good opportunities. What have you thought about your team's three-point defense this year? You gave up a lot of threes in this game. You did against Yeah, you know, it's, it's not been good. I think one of it, we're small at the guard spot. Uh, so our recovery is, is low as opposed to high. That's another reason why Justin and or, and or Ryan needs to give us better production. I mean, I could even play Justin at the two guard at some point, you know. 
and that gives us more size to contest the three-point line. It hasn't been good, and, and, and uh, you know, I think that's a good observation on your part. Anything else? No. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks.